Hi, I'm back. And so is my trusty editor, slash daughter, slash love monkey. I can't tell you guys how excited I am for the new Picard series, the new Star Trek Picard. I've got butterflies. I just had to do the story. I fell in love with Picard from the beginning and I will always be in love with him. I don't care how old he gets. Just quickly wanted to let you guys know that I'm a huge fan. Oh, but wait, you knew that already, didn't you? Trusty editor, not so much, although she does see the merit in some of the value of being a trackie. What I did here is I just made a very soft outline and then layered the very base color with some of the shadowing before I tried to tackle the background. I apologize for the bad quality of the sound. I don't have very good sound equipment. Maybe one day when I'm all grown up, big and rich, I will make a plan. I just hope it's not too bad, especially with my sucky voice. Yes, I hate my voice. Don't tell me. I know I hate my voice. And also don't know why it took me so long to discover the joys of making backgrounds with soft pastels. It makes a huge, huge mess. Sorry, English is not my first language. I make mistakes. I stumble over my words. Please forgive me. Anyway, it makes a huge mess, but I love it to bits, especially if I blend with my fingers and make it even messier. See, I'm trying to clean up. Now, if I was clever, I would have put some adhesive, some um, protection on the foreground so that you can just peel it off. There's so many good stuff on the market these days that you can buy to protect your foreground from the mess. But it seems like I like to do things the hard way and I don't learn from my mistakes. Don't try this at home, folks. And blend and blend and blend. I have a little tissue next to me that I can wipe stuff off, but otherwise you just rotate through your fingers. <laughs> After I did the base of the background, like I did here. I tried to clean it up a bit using an eraser and like I said that would have been a heck of a lot easier if I just put some protection on the foreground but no eraser had to do. Now after I cleaned it up a bit I just gave it a quick spray with some varnish. Um, as an adhesive so it don't smudge too much a very very thin layer not a big layer and then I started to do a little bit more detail in the foreground in the face of Picard and I used my Colleen's my go-to pencil partly because Colleen's are a little bit cheaper than some of the other pencils like Prismacolors and those type of pencils but it's still soft enough it's still expensive but not bank breaking expensive and it's soft enough to blend easily especially if you use your finger to blend it with which I like to do partly because the natural oils on your fingertips make make things smoother and even though I am terrified to make a mistake I no, not even though, but because I am terrified to make a mistake, I put the layers of the colors on very thinly to start off with and then just layering it darker and darker and darker. Always remember to step back and take a look at the whole picture. I don't know how many of you other artists out there 
that are much more professional than me does this but I tend to concentrate so hard on the fine detail that I miss the big picture so I have to step back either looking through my camera or at a picture of the picture and taking in the whole picture and then realizing oh wait a second this cheekbone is too high this jawline is too thin if I don't do that and just concentrate on the details then I make mistakes like that just kept on little adding a little bit and a little bit and a little bit I didn't want the picture to look too flat even with the background I added some more as I went along and I just used your basic colors dark brown um, light skin tones and yes a little bit of black also especially where the depths really come in smoothing out the lines I like Star Trek Discovery too there's a lot of things that I don't really like and doesn't sit well with me but um, there are so many plus points in the film and well in the series that I okay I love all things Star Trek I'm that big of a nerd but um, there are so many good things and the acting is good but Picard I can't wait it's going to be epic beyond belief Yeah, I thought I made another mistake. I wanted to make this really gold and I first went over it with a crayon, a gold crayon, and that just did not do the job at all. So I decided to use my Pilot Permanent Marker in gold uh, for this Star Trek emblem. But the problem with that is I only have the very thin tipped marker I think it's a 0.5 so it took me a really long time to start it off with and when I tilted my head to look at it at the, uh, in the light it was very stripy and ugly and I thought oh no all my hard work the whole face the background everything that I've done has gone up in smoke because I'm making this mess with the marker but I decided to stick it out and carry on and then I did something really stupid that accidentally worked a bit you will see it now just wait for it wait for it yes I made a blob of gold and spread it in with my finger do not try this at home folks I was so angry with myself it made such a huge mess but it ended up not being too bad and then I just used the, the, the fine point again to straighten out the outlines so happy little accident <laughs> I really should invest in getting myself some of that gold water paint or at least a bigger marker just to make things here like, like Scotty said in the Star Trek movies the right tool for the right job if you do things with the wrong tool you're gonna make a mess it's just that simple thank goodness it didn't come out too bad after this I went and I put on another thin layer of adhesive uh, or, or varnish spray and then I made the stars I know some of the other people they just shake the stars on but I can't do it I always make a mess and for this I just used acrylic paint and a fine brush and made it dot for dot big dots little dots flat dots all kinds of dots and then after I used 
the same paint to put in some highlights in the face. I went over the stars with some of my metallic gel pens. And this video is almost to an end. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. If you did like this drawing of mine, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you want. I'm going to make more videos. Maybe not every week, but I want to make more. Yeah, I thought I was finished and I had to do this. <sighs> Big mess. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you lots. Bye for now.